What's up guys, I've been waiting to receive something in the mail uh, for about a week now and I finally have got it and I'm very excited about it and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's jump right into it. What could be inside of the box? Let's go ahead and open it right up. Inside, we have two boxes. What is this? We have the live speaker for the iPhone and iPod Touch. I'll get into that in just a second. What, but why do we need two of these? What can we do with two of these? How about I give one away? So I will tell you guys how you can win this live speaker uh, at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and get on to the review of this one. I've actually unboxed this one already. Uh, taking all the plastic out and stuff like that to make it a little bit faster. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so we will start out uh, going ahead and taking it out of the box, doing an unboxing as they call it. Uh, we've got a picture of the device right here, but there's no point in looking at that because we're going to see it in just a second. Okay, so they got this padding right there to protect it. Um, here we have the live speaker instructions. Uh, we don't really need to look at that. I'm going to basically tell you everything it does in just a second. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what it looks like. Let's take it right out of the box. Now, normally there was plastic on this. As I said, I've done took all the plastic off to save us time. So here is the speaker. I'll get into that just in a second. Let's take the other stuff out. Okay. And then we have the stuff that comes with it. We've got a power cord, uh, a wall plug-in that takes a USB. Um, and here's the power cord. It's got mini USB with the uh, USB that plugs in. Sorry, my cameras are kind of out of focusing. And then we have a carrying case for the live speaker. It's pretty big. So let's take a look at some of the stuff uh, around the box so I can get, show you guys some of the features and uh, what it supports. So here it says it's ultra portable. True. Uh, it's rotating. High quality speakers. Very true. I'll show you guys in just a minute. Uh, protected from RF interference and a long-lasting lithium-ion battery. So uh, it's protected from that interference. Like if you've ever been in a car uh, and you're using your iPhone and you got it plugged up and you hear that static, there is none of this. Uh, they have somehow managed to not have that. And a long-lasting lithium-ion battery. And I want you guys to take a look at this. It's compatible with the iPhone, the iPhone 3G, the iPod Touch, the iPod Touch 3G, and the iPod Classic. Uh, there was a misprint on the box. It actually meant to say iPod 2G. So let's get this aside and let's look at the actual product. Let's look at the speaker. So we've got my iPhone here, which obviously uh, we need. Let's set that down. And then we got the speaker. Let's show you what this thing looks like. So we have the cradle for holding your iPhone or iPod. It just slides right in there. Uh, we've got the headphone jack, which obviously plugs in your device and what outputs the sound of these speakers. Uh, and then as you see, it, it rotates. I will show you that in just in a second. Uh, here on the back, we have a stand. I'll get into that as well in just a second. And then here on the top, we've got the USB port and we have the power button. I have no battery in mine right now, so I'm gonna have to plug it up. So let's get this plugged in here and let's turn her on. So there we go, we got the green light. That obviously means it's on. And let's slide my iPhone right in fits perfectly and you still have access to the volume buttons and uh, let's plug in the headphone jack perfect so we've got two ways you can watch this you can watch it in landscape or portrait and this is what it looks like in portrait and now watch closely with this we can watch it in landscape did you see that see that the speakers expand when you turn your device how awesome is that? The stand slides right out. It's metal, very sturdy. Okay, slides right out. And then we got this little thing. Very sturdy. I'm glad they made this out of metal because that made it. There's a lot of stands that I've seen that look kind of like they'll kind of break easily. Uh, and I'm kind of rough with stuff sometimes. So there we go. There it is. And it's got three different levels uh, of how we can sit it. Okay. The farther you bring it out, the flatter it's going to sit. And that's how it looks sitting on your desk. And we can also do it in portrait mode. Okay, let's give this a second to play. And I'll show you guys a movie streaming. And I'll show you the audio quality on this thing. Here we go. There it is. Do you hear those speakers? Do you hear that? 
Let's go ahead and skip ahead in the movie. Let's skip to a dramatic part in the movie. This is actually knowing. Whoa, that was loud. See how loud that goes, guys? It freaking sounds like surround sound, seriously. And then, as I said, we can turn it in portrait mode, and it, the speakers expand right with it. So let's go ahead and stop this movie so they don't get me for copyright infringement or something in the movie. Now, as you guys may or may not know, uh, the place to plug your headphones in on the iPhone is actually located on the top of the phone, whereas the iPod Touch is located on the bottom. Now, if you look at the speaker, uh, the headphone jack is actually located on the right side of the device. So when you slide your device in, it actually fits to the iPhone because it's on top. Thankfully, I have an iPod Touch to show you guys along with that. Now, let's show you how to pop this thing off, and we're going to take this headphone jack and put it on this side. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is push away from you. It comes right off. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is basically re route this headphone jack it's pretty easy and then we pop this thing right back on so now it will fit to the iPod touch we slide it right in call that thing slide it right in and we can plug the headphone jack right up so let's show you what music sounds like on it uh, for playing music I would prefer it in portrait mode so let's turn it like that unlock let's go in the music app now I can't play too much music uh, because they can't get me for copyright uh, and we don't want that. So let's go to songs. Um, I'm going to play something random. Let's go to Ludacris. Um, Got to turn the speaker on again. I turned it off to save battery. Wow, those things go loud. So that's that, that's the music. Let's play another song. Here we go. Let's play Bohemian Rhapsody. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. So there you go, guys. Is that not amazing, guys? We've got the stand. We've got the speakers that expand as a device. Perfect sound quality, movies on the go, TV shows on the go, your music on the go, this is amazing. Uh, I will actually watch movies on it now. Uh, before I was like, eh, I'd rather watch it on a bigger screen on my TV or something like that. No, this thing is awesome. I think this, this sound quality, these things actually sound better than my TV or my computer. The live speaker will run you at a price of $85. Um, compared to other speakers of this quality, that is a very good price. Uh, and this thing is so compact and small. So if you'd like one of these for yourself, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, or you can pick one up. If you're thinking about buying an iPhone or iPod speaker, I do recommend this one. Uh, amazing. I love it. So as I promised, let's talk about the giveaway. How can you win this amazing live speaker? Most of you guys are probably already qualified to win this thing. Uh, all you have to do is be subscribed to me on YouTube. You probably are. If you're not, go ahead. And you have to be following me on Twitter. Now, I do have two Twitter accounts. One of them you may not want to follow me on, but I am going to ask you to follow me on both. If you want to unfollow me later after the contest is over, I'm fine with that. Now, there are two more things that you have to do. You have to leave a comment on this video with the at sign and then your Twitter username. And then you can say whatever else you want to in the message. Just start it with at, then your Twitter username. And then you're going to need to retweet the following message uh, in the sidebar. If you're not familiar with retweeting, sign up for a Twitter account if you're not already. Uh, copy the text that's in the sidebar, and then you're going to post it as a tweet on your Twitter account. It's not that hard to figure out Twitter, guys. Hopefully you can figure that out. But I'll have an explanation in the sidebar on how to do that. It's very simple. So, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on both Twitter accounts, retweet the message, and leave a comment with your Twitter username and the at sign in front of it. And that's basically how you enter. So I'm not going to announce the winner like I normally do. Uh, like I normally do it in a live chat on Blog TV. Uh, but the live chats are getting too crazy. There's too many people and there are too many people spamming. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post a video. Uh, I'm going to randomly select a page from the YouTube comments. And then I'll select a number comment from that. Uh, trust me, I'm not going to try to cheat you guys. Uh, I'm ready to give this away. I'm excited for one of you guys to win this. So get all the stuff done. And this could be yours. Sorry. Mom just got mad at me because my sister's sleeping. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.